Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Velo Amakondrola but I'm popularly known as Ife Pinkies. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please don't make it your last. And to all our returning subscribers, I really appreciate you. So today I'll be showing you how to make the most amazing banana bread. So I don't want to waste much of your time. Let's get into the video. This recipe is the most amazing recipe ever. You're not going to find it anywhere on the internet. So pay close attention. So we're sifting the all-purpose flour right now. We're doing this to take out all the dirt or the lumps in the flour and also to make sure that our cake is light and hairy. Yeah, I want you to understand that banana bread is a dense bread. It is not a fluffy bread like people expect it to be. So this recipe, I formulated it myself after so many trials and error and I would like you to understand that it was a paid class but I'm sharing it for free. We're going to sift our baking powder, our baking soda, our salt, and our cinnamon. Feel free to take out the cinnamon if you're allergic to it. And if you have any lumps, be sure to crush it. Grab your hand whisk and whisk the dry ingredients together. Just keep whisking until it's properly incorporated. So we'll be needing three large ripe bananas. Make sure that it's properly washed and then you peel it and mash it. So our banana has been mashed and we're just going to pour it into the bowl. We're going to add in our sugar, eggs, the oil and the milk. Add in your flavor also. Now go ahead and grab your whisk and whisk the wet ingredients together. You can decide to mix your eggs a little bit before adding it into this mixture just to speed up the process or do it this way. Mix together until it's properly combined. There's really no need over mixing this. Add in your flour in two additions. You add the first one and you're going to fold in. If you can use a spatula, it will be better off. Banana bread batter doesn't need to be overmixed. I repeat, do not be tempted to overmix your banana bread batter. You're just going to mix it in for a few seconds before adding in your next flour. Add in your next flour and repeat the process. Over mixing your banana bread butter results to a very dense bread. You're gonna have a very chewy, strong or hard bread and we do not want that. As much as a banana bread is a dense bread, we still want it to be soft and moist. And this recipe is the best recipe you can find for that. Your mixing shouldn't take up to a minute. Give between 30 to 40 seconds. You should be done mixing your butter. Please note that. And this is what the butter should look like. According to your preference, you can decide to mash your banana a bit more if you do not like the chunks of banana in your bread. Whatever works for you. So prepare your pans by lining it So for the pan, we've already lined this pan. You can see what your banana bread butter and texture should look like.
go ahead and pour it now into your pans I used a medium sized pan here in this video just share it into your pans and it will be ready for the oven shortly so our banana bread is ready for the oven here we go wow our banana bread is finally out of the oven and you can see how beautiful it looks i'm just going to show you what it looks like i'm taking off the parchment paper from the base right now and i'm just showing you the beauty the gorgeousness <laughs> of this bread you're gonna have to stick around to see what it would look like when i cut in so don't go nowhere So it's time for the big reveal. Wow, such gorgeousness. This bread is so yummy. I mean, just take a look at the chunks of banana. Can you see that? And that's how I made the most amazing banana bread ever. Please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment down below, and share this video with your loved ones. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.